<sighs> well, where do I start? Here we are again, videoing from my car. So today's topic is going to be YouTube, YouTube, and YouTube. <sighs> I'm trying to think where do I even start because, you know, I started my YouTube channel um, about a month into lockdown. Uh, which was which was great, which is great, you know, because as a personal trainer, I thought myself, right, I can't train clients, there's no gyms, what on earth am I going to do? And uh, obviously I watch YouTube, but I've never actually thought, ooh, let's start a YouTube channel. To be honest, it was actually me kids who were like, dad, 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 start the YouTube channel. I'm thinking, what do I know about YouTube? I don't even know how to use my phone. When I text on my phone, I text with one finger. I apologize that I'm wearing my sunglasses because uh, it is extremely sunny today, which is a very rare occasion in England. Anyway, getting back to the topic, YouTube. Now, if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I would really take into consideration a lot of things. Now, I'll be honest, I was very naive and I thought, right, YouTube, how hard? You record a video on your phone, you upload it, you get thousands of views, that's it, brilliant. Completely, completely wrong. YouTube has got to be one of the hardest things that I've ever had to do. Um, I mean, first of all, you gotta think about what your channel's gonna be about. Obviously mine's fitness because that's my background, fitness. Second thing is you gotta think about what content you're gonna put out there because on YouTube there's millions of videos and everybody has done everything. So what is gonna make your video stand out from the rest? So, you know, I started making videos and I was getting 100 views, 200 views, 300 views, you know. I thought, meh, it's not exactly amazing. But as time goes by, I'm now getting thousands of views. Obviously, I'm not making hundreds of thousands of views. So something's working and something's getting there. What I have found with YouTube is, you know, you've got to think about the content. You've got to be able to stick a camera in front of your face. And, uh, you know, not everybody wants a camera in front of their face. A lot of people are camera shy. So putting a camera in front of your face and waffling it on like what I'm doing now is it's quite nerve wracking. It's quite hard. And you've got to think about entertaining people because people watch these videos, they're just going to go, boring, click. So you've got to think about stuff that people want to see. Once you've recorded a video, you then have to think about editing it. And editing, I've never even edited anything in my life. So I had to learn how to use Filmora 9 just to be able to edit videos. And then YouTube, my God, trying to learn how to upload a video on YouTube, put end videos and captions and this and your it is hard work so basically this video is to talk about if you are wanting to start a youtube channel and how difficult it is now to be honest in about five months i've gained 737 subscribers which i thought oh, that's not very good is it however when i look at what other youtubers have done in a similar sort of niche um that's not actually that bad. You know, I've looked at people who've been doing YouTube for months and years and they've only got a couple of hundred subscribers. So for me to have 737 subscribers in five months isn't bad at all. Um, the one thing which I did find help to gain sort of traction with my YouTube channel was collaboration. Now, if you've watched any of my YouTube videos, you'll know that although my background is fitness, before I was into fitness, Unfortunately, I was heavily into crime, okay, crime, and this this life of crime led me to um, two prison sentences, one in Spain for three years in a maximum security prison for smuggling drugs, and the other one was in a British prison for similar offences, um, selling drugs, which obviously I'm not proud about. Uh, however, the one thing which I have found with YouTube is I can stick a video on saying, you know, how to build a bigger chest, how to build better legs, and I might get a few hundred views. I stick a video on about prison life, I get thousands of views, and I'm like, eh? So, is my YouTube channel a fitness channel? Or is it a crime channel? I don't know. You let me know, what, what, what do you guys 
want to see on my YouTube channel. I mean, great if I can do a bit of both, a bit of fitness and a bit of a sort of criminal past. Now, when I talk about criminal past, I'm not trying to say I was a criminal, it was fantastic and I lived a great life. No, what I'm trying to say is it was a hard life. It led me to prison. It learned me a lot of lessons in life. And, you know, these things affect you in later life. You know, I had a partner of 23 years. I've got two beautiful children. And, you know, I, I've, I've lost both of that. I've got my children, but I've lost my partner of 23 years. We've both moved on. You know, she's met someone else. I, I met someone else. And... Sometimes the realisation hits you hard. Very hard. Now the thing is, right, in life, do you just give up? Do you just say, fuck it? Take loads of drugs, drink loads of alcohol, drown your sorrows. Or do you get up and you fucking stand up and you make something of your life? Because I have had every single piece of shit thrown at me. Prison, crime, drugs, drug abuse, self-harm. I fucked up my life. Many times. But you know what? I always stand up. And I always make something of it. And this is why I'm talking about YouTube because... I'm 42 now and how long can I be a personal trainer for? How long can I be on that front line doing one-to-one -one training sessions, earning pennies? I've always wanted to be somebody in life. I've always wanted to achieve something. I've always wanted to do something. You know, I always wanted to be a father. I always wanted a daughter. I always wanted a son. I've got both of those. I always wanted to own my own home. I did that. I always wanted to work in the gym. Even though I've got criminal record, I still managed to get a job in a gym. I was the general manager of a health club for 13 years. I'm a group fitness instructor. I teach body pumps, spins, circuits, kettlebells. I've done everything I wanted. Before the age of 35, I wanted to get on stage and bodybuild. I wanted to achieve something. And you know what? I did that. I've won the British... Scottish Championships, I've came second and third in many shows, men's physique, male model swimwear. I'd like to think I'm an inspiration to my children. I've helped others. I've helped others get on stage and compete. Men, women. I've got a really close friend and he knows exactly who I'm talking about. He's a brother. We have matching tattoos that say hermanos because we're brothers forever. And I met him when he was a kid and I, I, I helped, helped him in the gym and he became a fantastic bodybuilder. Now he's a fantastic businessman. He's got a tattoo business. This guy is, he's like my inspiration. But there does come a time in your life when you think you've lost everything. But you give up. Do you fuck? You stand up and you fucking fight. I'm sitting outside the gym now because I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to work my ass off. And I'm going to get myself into the most amazing shape for a 42-year-old man. And next year I'm going to get on that stage and I'm going to compete. And I'm going to fucking work my ass off on social media. I'm going to work my ass off on YouTube. I want you guys to support, subscribe. And help me on this journey. And if any of you guys need help. If any of you guys are suffering mental health. Remember I've been there. When I spent three years in a Spanish prison. I was going off my head. Depression. Suicidal. Self-harming. Last year. I split up with my partner of 23 years. And I really struggled. So what did I do? I took the coward's way out of it. I started taking drugs, handfuls of Valium, Xanax, 
anything just to take me mind off it because life meant nothing. But then I thought, how are you selfish, selfish person? You've got two beautiful children out there who need you and support you. Do something for them. And that's why I'm working my ass off on this YouTube channel because one day I want to be able to provide for my children. I want both my children to turn around and say, you know what, Dad? I'm proud of you. You're my dad. You're my hero. You're like my Superman. Doesn't matter what life throws at you. Fuck it. Stand up. Fight for what you know right. Because it doesn't matter how hard things get. You just fucking get on with it. Doesn't matter how lonely you are, there's always people out there to support you and help you. Never give up. Never take the coward's way. You live once. Make the most of it. That's why I've got a tattoo on me on that says Solo se viva una vez, which means you only live once. Because my other tattoo says El fin esta cerca, which means the end is near. But my end isn't near yet. Far from it. This is my fucking beginning. I'm 42 and this is where my life begins. I'm gonna fight to give my kids the best life they will ever have. I will fight so that they will have enough money to have holidays, good Christmases, and be proud of their dad. Losing your family after 23, 24 years is hard. But you know what? Karma. Karma will catch up on you eventually. All the shit I've caused my family, all the shit I've caused people in my life, all the hurt, all the pain, it catches up. And it's going to stab me in the back. But fuck it, because I'm going to fight back. And I want everybody around me to be proud. And that's why I'm making this YouTube channel. Because I know that there's a lot of people out there, just like me, suffering. Now we are on the way to another lockdown soon. Another lockdown. And that's going to fuck with people's heads. No gyms, no restaurants, no bars, no support. Every night staring at the ceiling on my own. But life goes on. And YouTube is going to save me. Because I am going to keep pumping out these videos. And you might be watching thinking, well this isn't exactly fitness related, but... It doesn't have to be about fitness, it could be about lifestyle. Anybody can go to the gym and lift weights. Anybody can get in the treadmill and lose weight. Anybody can eat chicken, broccoli and rice. It's a piece of piss, it's easy. What's not easy is life. Life is hard. And sometimes I actually think that life in prison was easier than life on the outside world. On the outside world, you have to think about making money, pay your mortgage, pay your bills, pay for your car, pay for your fuel, pay for your kids, buy food. I had a friend who recently made a YouTube video. He drove into the Scottish Highlands. 
and he pretty much left a YouTube suicidal note to say that's it, he's had enough. But you know what? I'm proud of him now because this guy, he is turned his life around. He's successful. He's doing good. And I love him a bit. I had somebody special in my life. I lost them too. I only have my kids now. In the gym. And you know what? I've got you guys. I've got the support of you guys. My subscribers. So please, if you watch this video, subscribe, don't subscribe, it's up to you. I just want you to know that we're all in this shit together. This virus, it's just fucking with everybody's head. People think that I'm this machine they see me Instagram pictures and they read me quotes and they go, wow, Harry, you're so inspirational. You're such a strong guy. I'm human. I'm the same as you. I have good days. I have bad days. Last week, I drove an hour into the Cheviot Mountains and I just sat there wondering where my life is going. We all need help. I need your help. I need you guys, my followers, my subscribers I need you guys to help me I want to keep making these videos and I don't want it to be all doom and gloom and me talking about prison and the shit that I went through and how fucked up life is but trust as it gets better it gets better it has to get better. Live your dreams. Don't give up. I'll see you guys in the next video.